Hello and welcome to um, part one of the 2016 um, specimen paper for the Cambridge IGCSE exam. I'm going to go through exactly how to practice this exam and maybe discuss what could come up in your actual exam. Um, but follow the tutorials as you see fit. Um, I don't advise you just sitting here watching them. I'd advise you to download the files yourself from um, Moodle or from the Cambridge website. Um, to show you how to download the files, in case I've not put them on Moodle yet, just simply type in on Google Cambridge um, ICT IGCSE. You see it here, it already come up automatically for me. Um, go to the first link and accept the cookies. I'm just going to enlarge this. Go to past papers and exam reports and specimen papers. Scroll down and we are working on paper one. Uh, no, sorry, paper two at the moment. Sorry, uh, the first paper of the practical exam. And the support files are here for you. Um, you can just download those and save those to your documents either in school or you can save them um, at home. Okay, so it's that done. Right. Okay, now I've got my support files ready and waiting here. I've made in my documents at home here um, my 2016 exam folder and the source files are right here already downloaded. So this is what I'm going to be referring to. In school, you may be using a specific exam login. So please read um, all instructions at the front. And um, please also read, because this is very important, um, the blurb at the front here before we start task one. Okay, so because this is going to contain information that you need. So, you work for a company called Starcars. You are going to perform some clerical tasks with this company. For the reports, the following paragraph styles must be used with the attributes specified in the house style specification sheet. These are very important that you follow these. Okay, and then read the information here okay so it says star cars is a company that imports cars and needs to keep in contact with these uh, distributors at the top of each sheet the company letters star cars must have their company name suitable logo to represent the company when designing the company documents you may wish to add further enhancement to prevent uh, present a professional appearance for the company documents must be easy to locate in a filing system Okay, so it must be, uh, you must read that, it is very important. So first of all, follow the task as you go along. Don't look at something and think, oh, I'll come back to that later. You may not have time later. Okay, and um, the first task, which is the uh, documents evidence, okay, is very important. If it's not printed up, you won't get the marks. And if it's not printed up with your name and candidate number, you won't get the marks. Okay, so always follow those um task to begin with don't just dismiss them until later in the day so it says open s16 evidence and um, rich text format so i go to evidence here so here we are s16 evidence there we go so we wait for it to open in words and this is where all your evidence is going to go so as you can see the step by step and it even says what screenshots that, um, they must be so that means you won't be doing any annotations which is good so it says make sure your name center number and candidate number will appear on the top of every page uh, by placing these details in the header of the document so just double click here okay and just simply type your name okay so i'll type my name candidate number which obviously you'll get, so I'm just going to say minus 2658, okay, and centre number, which you will get probably on the day, or I may tell you beforehand, either way the centre number is the same for everybody, and you can always ask the invigilator, okay, so imagine that is the centre number, so we're done there, and we're going to close that, then it says save your evidence into your work area as evidence followed by your candidate number, so for example evidence 999, so which would be a um, four digit number, now please again don't delay doing this, just do it right away, because then when it's done, it's done, and you don't need to worry any further about anything else, so it's already flagged up my current folder. Okay, so I'm going to save mine as um, 2658. I've practiced this previously, so I'm just going to overwrite this file. Obviously, for you, 
you wouldn't have done that okay so I'm just going to say yes I'd like to replace the existing file there we go okay so you will need your evidence doc document open during the examination to place your screenshots when required so just leave it open okay but at some point during the exam just always remember because the computers can fail despite everything being prevented from doing that um, please just make sure you press this now and again and save it doesn't matter how often you do it you might want to do it after every screenshot maybe every couple of tasks it's entirely up to you okay right so now task 2 document so open up the S16 so this is basically as we're moving now on to the task, you're going to edit a document about development of, new, of a new port. Use a suitable software package, load the S16 port RFT, and set the page size to A4 and your orientation to portrait. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my file here. So it might be a good idea to leave this folder open that you have. And there's S16 port. So I'm going to open that. I'm going to move it over, over here and sorry about this there we go okay right set the page size to a4 and set the page orientation to portrait so i am going to go to layout i believe and here we are i can go to page setup and i can just simply say it's portrait okay so and then i can set it to a4 here okay so that would be two screenshots another way you can do this that you may find easier okay is orientation landscape take a print screen okay and because you can see already in evidence one it says place screenshot evidence of the page size and the margin settings as your evidence document okay so it's already going to happen so I'm going to go to my yeah, here so it says page setup and margin settings so here we go I'm going to paste this here and you may want to crop it down okay you don't have to or in some, in some cases you can use the snipping tool okay so I'm going to crop this down I don't usually crop down to print screens but I think it's necessary to do it so so format I'm going to enlarge this so I can find crop. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay, and I'm going to crop this out. Okay, and the page, so set the page size to A4 now. So I need to go back here and set page size to A4. So here we are, is size, and I select A4. Okay, print screen again, A4. There we go. And again, I put that in my evidence. And as I said, make sure you are doing this as you go along, please. No delaying of anything, okay? So no sitting there thinking, okay, I'll do that later. Okay, don't do that. Just do things right away as they need to be done. okay right there we are those two print screens are done um right the next thing it says um set all margins to two centimeters so we need to go back here and this is where we go to margins and we need to go to custom margins so okay so the document says set all margins to two centimeters now um, it doesn't mention the gutter margin so you can see all margins are here and in, there's top left bottom and right and the gutter margin now when I checked the um, mark scheme for this uh, particular exam um, it's left the gutter margins at zero centimeters so what I would do personally is I would simply leave the gutter margin as it is unless it's otherwise specified in the exam 
So we're going to set these gutter margins here to two centimeters. I'm sorry, not gutter margins, margins, apologies. Now, um, it says place screenshot evidence of page size and margin settings for your evidence. So I'm going to take a print screen of this and then I'm going to press OK. And I'm going to go to my evidence and I'm going to place that screenshot in with the others. I may have one too many screenshots, but I know I've covered all content which is uh, better than not showing any evidence at all. And crop down. You can crop down basically just to show um, this here. But in my previous teaching experience with other exam boards, it's always better to show the time and the date in the background and also the uh, document here. Okay. Um, right, so 